So we're talking about the, the, the start of the second ballad, yeah? That's right. And we're talking Presto, about those upward... Presto con fuoco se section of the yeah. second ballad in F major. Right, OK. So the best strategy for practicing it is to sit slightly further away from the piano than normal. Let me uh, draw back so I can see that, yes. Extend the arms mm -hmm. so they're more or less straight. And then mm -hmm. do rotation of the whole arm from the shoulder. All right. OK. <laughs> Of the whole arm, can you see? The rotation of the whole, the whole arm. arm. Yes. And That's the best. So make sure the weight goes from one side to the other. I'm doing it the other way around, actually. You can do it both ways, starting with the top of the octave first, rotating that way, and then you can do it as it's written, rotating from thumb to the fifth thing. So that gets that, that comes that bit. What about the suite and coming and down? Have you got any comments? Of, yeah, yeah, about that. And that, that also covers that bit, you do that one as well. It was you practice those at the same time. Yes, this is the, when the it sister resumed, when the it comes sister, back. sister passage. The sister practice, passage, practice the, the second part. part. Yeah. So for the passage coming down, I would recommend the forearm attack. Just say to the camera, or just tell, explain what you mean by the forearm, yeah, forearm attack. attack. Is the elbow attacking from the elbow with the forearm, mm -hmm. keeping the wrist firm so the wrist isn't floppy? Yes. It's this hammering thing with like the tuck. Yes. Like hammering with a, almost hammering in tucks, but you're turning the hand the other way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. And keeping the weight in the left hand. I see you're, you're doing what amounts to like almost like a small shoot. shoot. That's right. So, do you want to just for the benefit of the camera now just play that a little bit? Well, I meant that that section. Oh, just see. so we just see how it works. Right. Now I'm in. Play. At that, at that point. So that's that bit there. Yes, let's just see. That, show me. Yeah, okay. And do the rotation of the whole arm. Okay. Right. Here, you've got the weight firmly in the right hand. He's 
He's got so wonderful fingering of the left hand there, hasn't he, Corto? Yes, that's right. It's very good. It's, I mean, it's, it's very clever the way he sort of just Absolutely. does that. You, would, you wouldn't intuitively think of that fingering. Well, it's probably Chopin's fingering. Oh, is it? Yeah, actually, so? he says that the fingering we give is the only one which gives, in a, in a certain way, the, the, um, the rhythmic basis for the wave of sounds which is unfurling in the left hand. <laughs> yes, yes. 